YouTube, what's going on? YC Imaging here with another video, and today you're gonna get it. You asked for it, you requested it. Um, I've been asked to do a color correction tutorial probably a hundred times since I've started this YouTube channel, so we're finally doing it. And um, uh, the the color that we're gonna tackle today is um, one that I used in. Well, I actually use this color a lot, but um, I used it in uh, the video I did for Doe Man a while ago. And uh, basically, it's like a, um, it's 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 the the standard color uh, that most movies go with, where it's you have the you have the blues and you have like the warm color. So um, I'm gonna give you all a little clip of that actual video to show you all which color we're gonna be tackling, and we're gonna get straight into it. Um, what you're gonna need for this is Adobe Premiere and Adobe Speed Grade. If you don't have these two. Um, I'm sorry, man. I can't help you. <laughs> the coloring for this will be done in speed grade. I'm not that uh, I'm not that experienced in coloring in Premiere only because I don't have the updated CC 2015. I just have the um, the CC. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So here's the video that I did for Doe Man Real a while ago, and um, here, you can see CG it's basically Doe warm man. in the shadows, and it's cool in the mid tones. So. Let this run for a second just so y'all can get a feel of what it is. And then we're gonna go through and get this done. Alright, you got it. So, um, the clip that I'm gonna do this on is this Ben's footage that I got from my brother's car a while ago. It's up on the channel right now. But, um, alright, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your Premiere project. I already have mine open. Um, and the way I actually color correct is I drag an adjustment layer all the way across my project. And um, basically what that does is it's whatever you put on that adjustment layer, everything under is going to affect. So when I color grade, I, um, I just drag an adjustment layer all the way across and then that's how we do it. So if you don't have an adjustment layer on yours, I'm going to show you how to do it. You have your, I mean, your screen layout is probably going to be different than mine, but um, typically you go down here to the new item thing. Uh, to the new item button and you go to adjustment layer and all of these settings right here should already be reflective to your overall timeline so you're gonna hit okay it's gonna pop up in your uh your your footage tab and you just drag it on and you drag it all the way across and you will save your project do file save i'm not gonna do that because i already have one on on mine so after you save your project you quit premiere and um, then you're gonna open up speed grade. And then, mine's is already here, but you'll go to open project, and then you'll find the project for whatever you're trying to do, obviously, and you'll click on it. And if you have multiple sequences in it, um, I have a lot of nested just because I do, um, I like to do effects on certain parts of it, so I nest some. And uh, you just click on your top one, which is gonna be your overall sequence, and you hit open. So we're in speed grade now, and um, you have your layers here. You have your layers here, uh, and this part right here. I don't know why I keep pointing to this. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta get used to this. So, um, all right, enough with the rambling. This up layer right here is gonna be the adjustment layer that you put on to your video. So you're gonna click that. Um, I actually already color corrected this um, for the video, so what I'm going to do on mine is just hit reset so you can see my actual footage. You can see it's pretty flat and um, all the colors are washed out. I shot this in the center like D profile for the GH4. So basically you just scroll through and find a screenshot that you like and you're already on your adjustment layer and you go to your primary. Um, I'll give you a brief breakdown of what these things do. I'm not like like technically experienced, I don't I don't know the technical terms for these things, but um, you have your overall, um, which is gonna adjust everything, your shadows, your mids, and your highlights. And then uh, um, you have your individuals right here, which are shadows, midtones, highlights. And typically what these do is you have your shadows, and this is like your dark dark, your mid darks, and your your brighter darks. And the same thing goes for each one of these for highlights and midtones. So. What I like to do is um, I go through each one, not no raw, but just go to the shadows and then you'll up the contrast on that just to get your blacks a little bit darker. And you just get that to what color you like. I'm not gonna go like too in depth with this. You'll go to your midtones, you'll adjust the contrast for that. Get that up, go up, go up. 
just to a color you like, you know, um, tone-wise. I'd say that's pretty good. I'm not gonna go into super detail with this. And then uh, I'm gonna leave my highlights as is. I don't wanna boost those or drop them. I think this actually looks pretty good tone-wise. Um, so what you're gonna do now is dive into the colors. Uh, I like to tackle the mid-tones first. So what I'm gonna do is, to get this color, uh, you go in and you adjust your temperature. So what you're gonna wanna do is make those mid-tones really cool. Really cool, like just boost them way up. Even adding a little bit of saturation here. Not too much, but a little bit. Uh, a little bit more. All right, so that's pretty good. Then you go to your shadows. And here in your shadows, what you're gonna wanna do is, you're gonna wanna boost your temperature this also, but you're gonna go the warm way, not the cool way. Basically what this is gonna do is just even this out a little bit. Make it not so blue heavy. Get those mid-tones and those darks. Uh, go up a little bit more. Like that. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, after that, what you're gonna wanna do is adjust the mids on your blacks to more of an orange tone. So you're gonna drag this color wheel up more to the oranges. A little bit more, a little bit more. Yeah, go it down. Back to the middle a little bit more. Ah, that's cool. All right, so you, as you saw when I dragged this color wheel right here, it gave the, the black tones almost uh, more of a reddish tone. So I'll go in and I'll adjust the magenta. Switch it over to the green a little bit more just to Drop out some of those reds and give it more of an orange tone for it. I say that looks pretty cool. Um, so, uh, the mid tones, I think I want them a little bit more blue. So, I may go into this color wheel right here and drag this to the blue a little bit more. Uh, it might be a little bit too much. See, it dropped out those oranges. And um, might even boost that saturation up a little bit just to get it like really, really blue. Um, a little bit more up to the orange and no shadows. Nah, I say that looks pretty good. All right, so it doesn't look like it, but you're pretty much done. Um, so uh, actually, if you didn't know anything about Speed Gray, Speed Gray already has a few uh, like LUTs or like looks that you can apply to your footage straight off the box. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is um, one of these, I mean, the, uh, let me start over. All right, so the only thing that this is missing is the faded look. Um, it's, it's, it's almost like a low contrasted look, but you're not gonna go in and adjust the contrast by itself. So if you didn't know, Speed Grade has its own, um, its own looks that, that it, it already has like straight out of the box. So um, over here in your layer settings, what you're gonna wanna do is go down to the plus tab and you're gonna go to uh, LUT. And the specific LUT that you're looking for, you're gonna go right here. And uh, it's actually called Kodak 125. And what this LUT actually is, it's just like a it's just like a minor fade, and it's just gonna give you a more uh, a faded look for the for the for the color. Oh here it is. It's it, my bad. It's, it's Fuji once it's Fuji F125 Kodak, and it's the second one. So you're gonna go right here to the second one and this is just gonna add the fade to your footage. As you can see, this already looks more like um, the color in this video right here. Um, the only thing that I would probably adjust on it is I would give it a little bit less uh, of a fade on it. So in, in order to do that, you'll click on the LUT right here, the LUT layer, and up top you can adjust the opacity on it. Just drop that down a little bit. Or we'll just drop this down maybe to around maybe an 80. Uh, a little bit more than that, maybe like a 70 maybe, 70, on a 70, yeah. maybe to a 70, yeah, I think that's pretty good. All right, so um, as you can see, the fade kind of dropped out a little bit of the color, so what I'm going to go do and do is go back to my mid-tones. And I'm gonna drag that more to the blue area. Ah, uh, no, actually, 
Huh. Actually, it's pretty good as is. Maybe adjust the slider a little bit. No. Maybe it's the mid-tone. Something about this bothering me, I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me, but um, I just want to get it pretty good. Just get it, just get it better. And... Yeah, I think this looks pretty good. I might drop out the, sat the saturation if it on these shadows. Just a little bit. Maybe like down to like 80 or 79 or something. I think that looks pretty good. Probably try to bring some of those blacks back in as well. Boost the contrast on those a little bit. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, I think that looks pretty, pretty close. Pretty close, pretty close to that color. These blues, kinda wanna drag them this way a little bit. No, 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 no. Something about this is bothering me and I don't know what it is. Maybe I want a bit of a little, little bit of green on those blues. Something about those blues isn't right. I think that green adds. No, no, no. Ah, leave it as it is. It's pretty good, pretty close. As I said, this isn't the most accurate tutorial. <laughs> uh, like when I typically color correct, I'll go through and I'll adjust this maybe a hundred different times. So this is just getting you all in a general ballpark of those colors. Um, in order to get them right, you'll just have to tweak these about a billion times until you get it to where you want to do. So in order to get this back into Premiere, you're just going to uh, save it, do Command S if you're on Mac. I'm not sure about Windows. I'm sorry, I haven't used the Windows in probably eight or so years. So you save it, quit your speed grade, and you're going to go back into your Premiere. This may take a billion years for mine to open. I know there was some footage in here that wasn't linked. Alright, so we're back in Premiere. Let my clip slow back up. I have an eye shot now, so I'm just going to take that off. And once you're back, you can see your color grade transferred over. And uh, yeah, basically you render back to your footage and you're good to go. So that's a brief color tutorial on how I tend to do my cool, warm, I'm not even sure what to even call this color palette, but this is the one I've been getting the most requests about. So this is what I did. If you have one that you think I should do, you can leave it in the comments. Um, yeah, man, I hope you all enjoyed it. Hope this helped you a little bit, a lot of it. I hope it helped you in general. So, um, yeah, man, if you did, if you find something useful in this, make sure to leave a like, a comment, also subscribe. And uh, I'm gonna check you out in my next video. And this is one of many. If you all didn't check out my recent video, uh, my recent update video, I will be uploading every other day to this channel. And it will consist of vlogs, tutorials, tips, music video tips, uh, stories, Q and A's, you know, just pretty much a lot of things. So stay tuned, man. Make sure to like it, comment, and also subscribe once again. And check you out on my next video. Peace.